so I was gonna do a video about 3D printing. This is the 3D printer. Here. I'm gonna be printing that there. And it's a card holder to hold cards. We're gonna be printing, it's a fairly big object. It fits like about here on the printer. Let's get started. So we're heating it up right now. I have it very slow because the first layer that it's laying, this is the layer that needs to adhere itself to the bed, is the most important layer. But once it gets done with this first layer, it will speed up. finished at 11 o'clock last night so it yeah it really 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 long time but here it is this awesome looking part and it's got support on the nose because it needed support on the nose and this will all come off so I'm gonna get a razor blade and pry up on these sides because you know stick glue it works really well sticking these things down surprisingly almost too well I could almost lift my printer in fact, I can lift my printer. There it is. The, uh, the quality of the part is rather phenomenal. If I get to focus on it, like that. Some of it has some still leftover support on the nose, and some down here that I'm gonna trim off with the razor blade, and we should be good. The cards wouldn't fit, so we had to cut that edge out. Acetone doesn't usually work on PLA, but this PLA I found it works on. I have some black PLA that it doesn't work on, so it's kind of like, some PLAs will melt with acetone and some won't. I did evaporating acetone idea. An interesting effect happened. It turned to rubber. It's actually like a rubber material. So if people don't make the same mistake as me, I took an ice cream lit. I took an ice cream bucket and it wrapped it in paper towel. And then I, I threw acetone in there, and then I flipped it upside down over the top of the part, like that, and shut the lid, and I left it for 24 hours, and it turned to rubber. It also ruined it, because the layers started splitting. It's sometimes, it was working with PLA, but I don't think I'm gonna do it with PLA anymore. I think you should only do it with ABS. So my sister's friend went ahead and painted this, and you can kind of see how it has the appearance like wood. It actually hardened up, so it doesn't bend anymore. It's solid. So yeah, there it is. It's actually a wire, so we gotta be a little careful. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and disconnect. Pretty much all the cables that we can see here. 